Hello, I'm Stuart Turley. And I'm Sue Turley. We live just between Platfields and Birchfields Parks, and we've been involved in Platt Church since the 1970s. I run a preschool in our local community centre, which is currently closed. And I'm semi-retired from a post at the University of Manchester. The last few weeks have been strange for us. Uh, we miss seeing family and friends, but I don't think that day to day uh, the lockdown has been too difficult. What is more challenging is thinking about what it's going to be like in three months or six months time and trying to feel optimistic about that. What I found overwhelming at times is uh, simply watching the daily news and seeing the terrible impact that the pandemic is having on so many people's lives all over the world or watching shocking news stories like that from America about the cruel murder of George Floyd. At the beginning of lockdown, when I was in my tidying up phase, I found one of my favourite books on prayer, and it contained the lines, when the doors are locked and we are afraid to move, fill us Holy Spirit, and that seemed really appropriate for the time. I use it as my uh, daily routine for lockdown, and I pause uh, to pray, reflect, read, uh, four times a day, including noon and five. And I bring these daily news events to those prayers. Um, and I also uh, pray for members of the congregation who sent requests to the Ministry of Prayer team. God has always uh, encouraged me through these times and uh, surprised me with a psalm or a line of scripture. The source of optimism that I find at the moment is the fact that so many people are calling for change and a resetting of priorities and values. There's a great opportunity for the church to respond and to meet this desire for renewal and transformation, words that we use a lot, and in that way to affect how people relate to one another and to draw them closer to God. And I think that's something that we can all pray for as we go forward over the next weeks. So as Tierfan says, let's all reboot.